Round seven. Back in the baggy red, Whitey made 42 as the boys were bowled for 119. Special mention must go out to gun batsman Ed and James Demmel who scored his third duck in four weeks. Five if you include 2020s. The man was clearly in form. Ainsley Park chased it down easily and got the runs with only three wickets down. The bowling highlight was Sam the Champ Lee spinning a web, taking one for 25. Round seven saw Simon Bowyer don the captaincy against Warren Wood for the twos out at Quamby. Showing his laid-back style by forgetting the book back at Warrandyte, Mick Malloy went down memory lane to the threes and fours premiership wins as he picked up four out of the five wickets. Left with 167 to chase in 40 overs, the Ellis boys opened the batting, giving Jack one of the few opportunities to tell his little brother that he is better than him. He made 20 runs, which whilst four times better than the reigning P, lit medalist, left much work to be done, with Dan Wellesley making an unbeaten 65 in a tight finish, with Warrandyte coming out on top on the last ball. Warrandyte thirds had every reason to be fired up for their round seven clash with North Ringwood, trying to get the points for Stephen Goddard in his 300th senior match. It was an unfortunate result, however, the Dyke batsman managing plenty of starts, including 20 to dirt himself before he was hunted out. North Ringwood chased down the target of 137, just four wickets down, only Reardon and Ward picking up scalps. In the fours, Pat Grocott made a patient 25 and Kleine continued to churn out the runs with 44. Warrandyte finished on four for 157 with some good laid over hustle from Prangers and the skipper. Playing the bottom side, Lockie Haberfield wreaked havoc yet again with four for 25. Dean Gidley bowling a miserly two for eight from seven overs. It saw one Turner South finish at eight for 99. Warrandyte winning by 58. However, the game will best be remembered for a cracking event. Warrandyte were playing the church in a game which not even Jesus could save them from. Warrandyte amassed an amazing 256 off 35 overs. It was once again Big Red and Dicko destroying the opposition as both players retired with 50s. Homer made his half century off 23 balls but he was upstaged by Dixon who although he didn't score off his first seven made 50 off only 20 balls with skipper Rohan Bansell making 48 not out taking the bragging rights over his co-captain Drew along with his sister. Maxie Sharon Coots bowled like his computer time depended on it, taking one for eight off four. But the star of the day, though, was junior keeper Caden Trayford, playing his first senior game for the club and showing everyone there is a lot of talent coming through. Our 6'11 finally got to play someone different after three consecutive games against Bayswater. In this case, change was certainly not as good as a holiday as the latter leader, Warringdite, crashed to its first defeat of the season at the hands of the Croydon Rangers. Whoever takes the three votes here has scored them cheaply. Round seven.